If you are a cookie dough lover, this crumble copycat cookie recipe is for you. Today we are making the cookie dough cookie. What is up you guys? It is Carly here and you're officially cooking with Carly and today we are making a good one you guys. Cookie dough cookie from crumble. This is a copycat recipe. So we are making a brown sugar cookie. There's some molasses in there. And then on top of that brown sugar cookie, once it's chilled, we are going to put a cookie dough frosting that tastes almost like cookie dough ice cream. It is so good. And then on top of that, we've got mini chocolate chips and some cookie dough balls. This cookie, I feel like we should have a cookie counter. Like how many times I say cookie or cookie dough in this video, because it's going to be a lot. But this cookie is so good. It's turned into one of my favorites and I've really enjoyed developing and testing this recipe. So for this brown sugar cookie base, we are starting out with some butter, brown sugar, and a little bit of regular sugar. Definitely more brown sugar than regular though. Then we've got our eggs, vanilla, and some molasses here, flour, just all purpose flour, and baking powder. When you go to make this recipe in your kitchen, head to my website, it's cookingwithcarly.com, or you can click the link in the description below, and it'll take you right to this recipe, and you can click the jump to recipe button up at the top. It'll take you right to the recipe. You can print it out, the exact ingredient amounts, and instructions are there for you. To get started, we're just going to cream the butters and sugars together in our stand mixer here. So butter is going in, and then both types of sugars and we will cream them until everything's nice and combined and fluffy. Brown sugar. And our granulated sugar. We'll just mix this until it's combined. Now that that is combined, we're going to add in our liquid, so the egg, our eggs, vanilla, and molasses. Vanilla, and then the molasses here. Fun fact, brown sugar is just re regular granulated sugar and molasses mixed together. And so adding this extra molasses will really give this sugar cookie like that brown sugar taste. All right, let's mix this together until it's nice and combined. Last up, our dry ingredients. So all-purpose flour, and our baking powder. We're gonna mix this until the dough comes together. Start out slow and then you can gain speed once that flour starts getting incorporated. And then we will get to scooping out our cookies. If you're a fan of cookie dough, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm coming out with a brand new crumble copycat cookie recipe every single week. And you don't want to miss any of these. Leave a comment below if you have a special request and I'll add that request to my ever growing list of copycat recipes to work on. We are going to use one third of a cup of dough for each cookie. So what we're going to do is scoop the dough out one third of a cup and we're going to roll it into a ball and then we're going to really flatten this. These won't spread a ton but they will expand a little bit and so we're just going to flatten them until they're about a half an inch thick here and then place them on our tray and we are going to place six on each tray and we're going to make 12 cookies. So I'm going to get to rolling, flattening, 
placing on, then we'll stick them in the oven. These cookies are ready for the oven. They're headed into a preheated 350 degree oven and they're going to bake for 13 to 15 minutes. They're going to spread quite a bit and you're going to start to see some air escape just on the edges, but they won't get crackly or brown. So definitely pull them out when the centers don't look wet anymore. You don't want to overbake these or they'll be really dry. So once they spread, the edges start to, you know, there's little crackles just in the edges of the cookie, pull them out. So set it for 13 minutes, start there. The cookies came out of the oven and they are currently in the fridge chilling. So while those cookies are chilling, let's make this cookie dough frosting. So here are our ingredients. And the secret to this frosting is actually melted white chocolate chips. So that's what I'm going to do first is pop these in the microwave and get them melted down. So 30 seconds on, give it a stir, 30 seconds again, and we should be melted then. I just stirred this once. I'm gonna put it back in for 30 more seconds, then it should be melted. Our white chocolate is nice and melted here, and we melt this first because we want it to cool down a bit before we add it to our frosting. So while this is cooling down, let's talk about the rest of our ingredients. We have basically what we need to make cookie dough because this is a cookie dough frosting. So we've got butter, both kinds of sugars here, some vanilla, salt, some heat treated flour. You can get the instructions on how to heat treat it in the description below that link. It'll give you all the info you need. And then we've got some milk and some powdered sugar. To start our frosting, we are going to cream together our butter and sugars. So again, this is just salted butter and we're creaming it together like we did at the beginning of this recipe when we made those brown sugar cookies. Next up, the melted chocolate is going to go in and mix together with the sugars and that butter. All right, next up, our vanilla is going in to the mixture. And then our heat treated flour. I'm just keeping the mixer on low this whole time just to get everything mixed in low and slow. Our salt is going in next. Now our powdered sugar is going to go in and this will make it pretty thick, but don't worry, we'll thin it down with our milk. Now we're going to slowly start adding in this milk to get that consistency where we want it for frosting. It's looking pretty good to me. So you'll just use as much milk as you need to get it the right consistency. I feel like I need a little taste test here. Make sure, you know, we're on track. Yes, we are. We are definitely on track. Oh, that's good. <laughs> okay, let's grab those chilled cookies out and we can frost these bad boys. Little mini chocolate chip and the cookie dough bites on top. And then these cookies are good to go. They are done. I just have an offset spatula here that I'm going to spread the cookie dough frosting onto the cookies with, and then the mini semi-sweet chocolate chips, and then we have our cookie dough. So just so you know the research that went into this, I bought multiple different kinds of cookie dough and got the cookie from Crumble, tasted the cookie dough bits on top, tasted you know, the store-bought ones to find the closest match, this is the closest map. So the Nestle bite-sized edible cookie dough, chocolate chip cookie dough. This is one you wanna buy if you want like exact copycat. So to spread this on, we don't need any piping tips. This frosting is just spread right onto these cookies, just like this. Nice thick layer is what I prefer. And then we will put the toppings on. So there's a frosting and we will get a little semi-sweet chocolate chips, the mini ones, 
I like to just push them down into the frosting just so they don't fall off, you know. Don't want to lose any of that. And then a few of these cookie dough bites. Just like that. And our cookie is done. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I'm just gonna repeat that with all of these, then we can taste test. Now, these cookies are served chilled, so once you frost them, they're all topped off, put them in the fridge until you are ready to eat them. I eat them straight from the fridge, and the cookie is so, like, chewy, almost fudgy. It's like a cookie dough explosion in your mouth. You are going to love these, so make this recipe in your kitchen for a fellow cookie dough lover, and you are bound to become their favorite person ever. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Cookie dough. Through and through. When the cookie itself is so soft and chewy, the frosting, I could eat by a spoonful. It's a keeper.